Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Infinitely just here coming at you with a deck profile of my artifacts. I promised y'all I would get this done and I make do with my promise. So let's go over my deck profile. We have three artifact labyrinths. Um this one it allows you to special summon like when one's destroyed from your hand you can special summon it. And it's pretty good. Uh it's a twenty three hundred attack. Uh, then we have Artifact Moral Talk. Moral Talk. Um, this is a 2100 beater special summons, and when this card is special summoned during the opponent's turn, it targets one face up card and destroys it, so it's pretty good. Three Fall Knight, or Fall Knot. When this card is special summoned during the opponent's turn, targets one artifact monster in the graveyard and sets it. So this one basically just resets all your cards. Two of the big gall talks. I'm probably saying this wrong. Uh, targets up to two spell and set spell and trap cards that you control and destroys them. So you can just basically keep going off with your stuff and special summon these from your hand or destroy these. Uh, we have one of the Kadashias, the spear. Uh, when this one, when an artifact monster is special summoned, you draw a card. You just get some pluses off of it. It's a 2400 defense. This one is Aegis. It's a shield, I think. And when this one is special summoned during the opponent's turn until the end of this turn, artifacts cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So that's pretty good, too. Uh, that's basically it for the artifact part of the deck. Uh, let's go on. Well, not all of the artifact cards, but the monsters. We have two star drawings uh, for more draw power. Honest <laughs> wins out. <laughs> Two card card D for speed. You have three artifact movements. It's a instant mystical space typhoon that you can set another artifact from your deck. It's pretty nasty actually. Uh, two cards from the sky for extra speed because they're all fairy type monsters. So you just banish one, draw two cards. Uh, since you don't really attack this turn, they're in the first turn anyway, or attack with them. You just go plus. Two instant fusion to get your uh, fusions out and go for another rank 5 summoning Dark Hole, 2 Double Cyclone, another pretty much another Mystical Space Typhoon that you can pop one of your cards and pop an opponent's card. It's pretty damn good actually. 3 Pot of Duality for consistency. 3 Tethysopy of the Artifacts. I know I'm saying these like hella wrong and I'm sorry. Uh, this one special summons an artifact monster. You do this, and they base still gain their effects even though they were special summoned during the opponent's turn. So you just can miss your battle phase. So you do this basically during the end phase of the opponent's turn, and then go off from there. One solemn warning, one torrential, one compulse, one bottomless, and two malevolent catastrophe. Malevolent catastrophe is actually pretty busted in this deck. Extra deck we have three Durandal. Durandal is a pretty much a uh, reload for your hand, and it reloads your hand. Uh, Tiris, Keeper, Adrius, Zenmayo, uh, Concealer Pleiades, 2, because you have rank 5s. Volcasaurus, Shark Fortress is broken in here. 1, Freezer Dawn, so you can summon the Crystal Zero. Uh, and 2, Panzer Dragon. Well, that's it for the uh, artifact deck profile. I'm sorry this deck profile is pretty horrible, but yeah, you guys wanted the deck profile. You guys wanted to see how it looked, and here it is. And for the side deck, we have two Herald of Orange Light, two Nova Summoners, two Gelen Duo, one Thunder King, two Kaiku, two Electric Virus because dragons are still around, two Trap Stun, and two Spell Shattering Arrow. It's actually pretty good against uh, Fire Fist, so yeah. Anyway, uh, like for the deck profile, and if you guys like this, comment and let me know. Infinite Lasers, signing out.